In this video, you will learn how to use Microsoft OneNote to take notes on a digital text. Microsoft OneNote is a part of the Office 365 suite that is available to all KPU students. To get started, once you've downloaded the software to your device, you'll create a new notebook. Choose a color and give your notebook a title. As you can see now, I can create new sections and new pages within my notebook. So how I'm going to organize myself for this course, I'm going to create a new section for each week and then a new page for smaller chapters within my topic or within my course. I'm going to rename my section to week one. and My topic for this week is teamwork. I'm going to copy the content from this section of my chapter into my notebook. Now I'll give the page a title. So now I have the content that was in my text. I'm able to easily highlight it and I have space to make notes along the side. Making notes is important because it gives you a summary of the key points of the chapter so you won't have to read everything over again. As I'm reading this chapter, I'm noticing there's a heading, some key characteristics of teams, and these seem like they're pretty important to me. So I'm going to make a summary note here. As you can see here, now I have a summary in the right margin, and I've taken time to write the ideas in my own words. This is actually a really important part of learning information and making sure that I really understand the concept as I'm reading it. Now, as I look at the next section, I see that there's two key points. I notice that sometimes teams fail. So I think this is a key point and I'd like to highlight it. But now I also find this piece of information that teams can actually improve how an organization works together. So I'll add this and highlight it as well. Now I'll make a summary note in the margin. So now, when I go back and review this chapter, I won't have to read the full text anymore. I've read that the first time. But I have my highlights available to me, and I also have my summary notes to review. If I go back and look at a summary note and feel like I'm not quite sure, then I can go back and do a little bit more reading. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a summary to the bottom of my page. Writing a short summary after you've read a piece of digital text can be a very important step in helping you retain that content so you, uh, so you don't end up forgetting it later on. So, as you can see, my layout here, I have my text in the middle. On the right side of the page, I have my summary notes, so key points that I've reworded into my own words, and I've also chosen to highlight some things that I think are particularly important. At the bottom of the page, I have one short overall summary that I can go back to and quickly see what were the main points I learned in this section. For additional strategies on digital note taking, as well as reading, taking notes, and preparing for exams, come and visit the Learning Center. You can make an appointment online at tlc.kpu.ca.